My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and for today's Everyday Office video, I want to demonstrate exactly how easy it is to modify text. Now, you might do this for a lot of different stylistic reasons, for titles, uh, for logo design, stuff like that. And it can be a really nice way to personalize the text that you use for a situation. So as you can see here, I've written the name of my company and uh, maybe the A's need to be pointers instead of actual A's. So what I'm going to do is grab the selection tool over there in the top left hand corner, uh, click on the text itself, and then on the type menu up towards the top, there is, oh, excuse me, no, right there towards the middle, there is this thing called create outlines. And what that does is it says, Okay, so instead of it being editable text, where I could go in instead of it being NAC training, I could say it's MAC training or whatever. If I don't leave it as editable text anymore, then what I can do is I could treat it as shapes. So I'm going to click on Create Outlines. Now what you'll notice is uh, I cannot go in here and click and edit the text anymore. I can't switch out the letter N for the letter C, anything like that. But what I can do is go to object at the top of the screen and ungroup these objects. And that allows me to treat each of these different letters by itself as an individual shape, just like somebody drew it for me. So I'm gonna to go to this A over here on the left and zoom in a bit. Now there are a bunch of ways of approaching this problem, but you know, I like to just go ahead and keep it as simple as possible. I'm going to go to my window menu at the top of the screen and choose the Pathfinder tool. And by going to the Pathfinder tool, I have the ability to just sort of overlay different shapes on here and get things to happen. So in this example, if I just want to cut out this crossbar from the middle of the A, um, I'm just going to go over here to the left, grab my line segment tool, and I'm going to draw a line segment. And watch as I get close to this little uh, intersection here where the A crossbar comes across. I'm just going to click and drag down to the other intersection. So you can see that I'm laying a line from here to here, just as if I were cutting straight across that crossbar. And now I go in and I hold down shift to click both the A and the line that goes across it. And I'm going to use this option here for dividing. And then I'll just go ahead and make a break right there at that spot. And I'll repeat myself now. I grab my line tool. I drag from this intersection down to this intersection and let go. Grab my selection tool, hold down shift and click on the A. So I have both the line and the uh, A selected at the same time and click on divide. And now all I have to do is again, go to object and choose to ungroup that object. And now I can come in here, click on the little crossbar and delete it. Isn't that snazzy? So because I'm able to create outlines from text, I can then treat it just like any other shape. And the simplest possible way to work with this is to use your Pathfinder tool to interact with this text, to cut things out or to merge things together. Um, another example here would be if I wanted the K to go all the way across, right? All I'd have to do is find something that could lay on top of this K. Let's say I grab my pen tool here and I'm just going to draw from this point to this point down to this point, right there, and back up to this point. And then I'll repeat myself here from the corner down to the edge, right there, over here to this corner, and back to my original corner. And now if I select all of those things together, I can just go ahead and tell it to unite those shapes together and blend them into one big old, I don't know, angle of some kind. And uh, you can see that I could repeat myself with the other K and the other A very easily. And so it's very, very easy to make this font into something new and customized for your logo, for your heading, for your personalized situation.